Hello, welcome back to the Hidden Triforce. It has been a while, and I am so I am so sorry for that. Um, I really have no no excuse. I was a little bit sick. Um, got really super busy in my personal life, and because of that, I've had this entire game completely done, recorded, just sitting on my computer for weeks upon weeks. Ever since the game came out, since before the game came out, I've had this entire game just recorded, sitting there on my computer. Anyways, in this episode of the uh, Link Between Worlds Let's Play, we're going to try and find the Master Sword. It's a little bit, um, well, it's a little bit of an interesting episode. We've got all these Poe spirits that we need to follow, and we got this little game that we have to play. Find, uh, find our way through into the, I guess, the Sacred Meadow Grove. So, I'm gonna play this game once these guys are dancing. They play a different one. You kind of it's like a game of track and follow the post spirits. Unfortunately, I'm really bad at it. Super bad at it, actually. Um, well, I'm gonna mess up a lot because, um, well, honestly, <laughs> to be blunt, I was drunk when I was playing this part of the game, so <laughs> it made things a little bit hard. But that's okay. I still do it fairly quickly, but not, but sort of. So anyways, Link Between Worlds is a lot of fun. I'm sure most of you have played it by now, so I'm not really going to uh, keep spoilers or anything. And um, I'm just going to talk about whatever I want to talk about, because if you guys haven't played it at this point, then you shouldn't be watching my Let's Play. Simple as that. So, uh, I've got a lot going on in my life. I have a new girlfriend. She's awesome. And her brother It was a fan of my YouTube page before her and I started dating and knew who I was and I started watching all my videos on Christmas on their television. It was really awkward. Um, so they kind of keep this a secret to people that I know. I don't really tell people that I do Let's Plays or anything because, I don't know, I sort of find it embarrassing to a degree. Sort of nerdy, but whatever. Um, but it's cool to find out that I have fans in like, different places that I completely would not expect to have fans in. And this is one of them. It's always nice to come across someone who knew who I was without me having to say, hey, this is what I do. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to be slowly working my way through the Lost Woods here. As I mentioned, I was drunk when doing this and I'm not really paying attention and I kind of mess this up a couple times. But overall, it's pretty simple. Just pay attention. Honestly, just use your finger and kind of like follow along the screen and you'll be more than fine it's kind of a fun little thing that they've got going on here whoops back this way and as you go on like the, they, they, they change what you need to do one of them is you need to follow the Poe and go into the path that they go and the other one is oh here's three of them they're gonna go to these paths go into the path that they do not go into and they mix it up it's really kind of creative um, if anything if anything else <coughs> so a lot of fun going on here now a link between worlds as you all know at this point is the sequel to a link to the past unfortunately it's um well it's just not as good a link to the past is by far superior to this game but with that said a link between worlds is still greatly and once again by far the best handheld entry to the zelda series since the two oracle games and of course, Link's Awakening before that. Um, it's good to see that Nintendo is finally getting things back on track after the two really bad games that were Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Um, I mean, they, they were okay games just to be a general video game, but for a Zelda game, those games were horrible. So, um, yeah. It's good to see that they have a more open world because the last two games were very limited. By being on a train, there is really no open world exploration. In this game, you have all of Hyrule to once again explore, as well as the lower world of Low Rule. Very creative with their naming conventions there. Um, but there's a lot to explore, and while it does have mostly the same path and design as A Link to the Past, it is still. Um, they, they mixed it up a little bit, so it's not exactly the same world. Time has changed, and there are some variations and differences, which is good. As you just saw, I messed that up. Um, it's really hard to follow ghosts while you're under the influence. Just saying. 
I've messed this up several times now. This could have been like a two minute video. Instead it's gonna be like seven. Which I guess isn't too bad. Um, but maybe this time I would like to get it done properly. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and get these videos coming out on a more regular basis here. And uh, I mean I have them all done and I need to finish uh, Wind Waker HD as well. I'm inside of Ganon's tower. So it would make sense for me to just uh, finish the game since I've only got a few more videos left, obviously. Um, but as I said, I had a lot going on in my personal life. Um, mostly, I'm going to just be honest, like most of it was just starting a new relationship. Found an awesome new girl that I was going on dates with. And um, as, of, uh, well, as of yesterday, last night, we were officially dating. So... I figured uh, now it's time to do some videos. Now that the hard part is done, <laughs> I can move on to easy coasting through the relationship. <laughs> Don't, um, that's not true. But anyways, it's been a fun time. And there we go. We're getting really close. Really, really close here. And we're going to go get the Master Sword. It's a lot more convoluted than it was in A Link to the Past. So... Same kind of thing, you got the animals running out, you got the sword and the pedestal, and use the three pendants. Same thing as A Link to the Past. So we're gonna grab this, the next episode we're going to go storm Hyrule Castle, take it back, save as Princess Zelda, and beat the game. But not, beat about a third of the game. You got the Master Sword. <laughs> and yeah, that will conclude this episode of A Link Between Worlds Let's Play. I hope you guys will uh, still check in with me even though I've been late and far behind on this but it's still going to be a fantastic let's play thank you so much for watching and leave me some comments below